How y'all doing today? Tony Carcella shooting live, as usual, down here in Landrum, South Carolina. I don't have no um, thing that I read off of whatever that's called. Uh, teleprompter. I don't, I, I, I'm coming from the heart tonight. I'm very troubled. And, and I'm going to title this video, The Night They Almost Drove Old Dixie Down. Um, I don't know how you are aware of what's going on in the world today, you who watch this video, but I'll tell you what. I'm very angry in my spirit, man. Even though I am a Yankee, I love the New York Yankees, and I'm from the Northeast. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey, where the Battle of Trenton was fought, and if we lost that battle, we would still be under English rule, possibly. So tonight I'm coming yet with my heart, because growing up, I always had a heart for the South. Even when I married my wife, I, I, I wanted to take her to Charleston, and my son in August is going to the College of Charleston. So my heart has always been in the South. And, and, and I don't know why. God knew why. I don't know. But today and yesterday, this week, I've seen on Facebook and other news outlets that they're taking down Confederate symbols down in New Orleans. And it, it bothered me. It troubles me because this political correctness has to stop. God's people, we, we need to do more than just pray about it. I'm sick and tired of Christians just say, just pray about it, uh, Pastor Brother Tony, whatever you want to call me. I really don't care. I know one thing. God calls us to rise up and to take dominion. It's in Genesis, folks. If you want to read it, it's about the kingdom. God has established his kingdom on the earth. I'm not concerned about going to heaven right now. I'm locked in. I'm born again with Jesus Christ and his blood. But I'm here. I'm called to rule and reign on the earth. So I'm telling you all right there, call your senators, call your congressmen. This foolishness has to stop. They stopped Ann Coulter this week. They wouldn't protect her. For when, when they start attacking that Second Amendment, we're in trouble. Besides that, I got an outrageous tomato pie in this oven. And they ain't going to take that away from me. And they ain't going to drove, they ain't going to drive old Dixie down again. And just like the Jews said, never again, down here in the South, we're declaring, never again. Look at that tomato pie. Lord Jesus. Half has mushrooms, sausage, and fresh garlic. And the other half has a sausage on it for my son, the mighty man of God. And we're going to cut this bad boy up. And I got some wings to go with it. A little adult beverage tonight. You go with it. Look at that pie. There you go. For all my Facebook friends and family up north in San Diego, California, my sister Leora Fremo, my other one, uh, sister Sherry Lopez in Las Vegas, Nevada, Tim Sullivan who, and Marianne Sullivan out there in Hilo, Hawaii, and my precious brother Jeff Eisenbach on the island of Kauai. And others around the world, my friends JP and Jan Thomas, so my mother and father in the spirit. Over there in Sicily, uh, Signora, Sig Signorello, Sicily. This pie is for you. Desiree, Mundesair Wood, this pie is for you. Dr. Anthony D. Pastina, Kathy, Mary Francis, Angela, and Lucy, this pie is for you. And anybody else, I hate to say, we got so many friends, I don't want to forget nobody, but anyway, come on down here in Home Shalom. Get yourself some of these pies. There's still a few dates left, but we're running out of time. God bless. Remember this. We're making America great again, one pie at a time. In Jesus' name, Shalom Shalom.